The country is entering a new phase in the battle against COVID-19. That's how President Biden is painting the rollout of updated booster shots targeting Omicron subvariants, calling it a new vaccine with a new approach. For most Americans, that means one COVID-19 shot once a year each fall. If it sounds familiar, it's because it is. The White House has been comparing it to the annual flu shot. Now, more than 200 million people are eligible to get a booster from Pfizer and Moderna. But questions remain over how many actually will get it. So how are the CDC and the White House going to shake up their strategy for this latest dose? Earlier, I spoke with CDC Director Rochelle Walensky. What makes this booster significantly different than our first round of booster shots? Is there evidence it supplies significantly more protection? Yeah, this is a really important question. For the first time now, we have a shot that actually um, targets exactly the variants that we have circulating right now. So about 88 percent of our variants are BA5, about 11 percent BA4. And right now, this updated shot is half um, the original strain and half that BA4, BA5 strain, what's um, targeted to that BA4, BA5 strain. The laboratory data suggests that this updated vaccine will perform better against the circulating strain we have right now, that it will perform better against other circulating variants that may come, and that it won't sacrifice anything in terms of protection of the original strain. So we're in a much better place with this updated booster right now. Dr. Paul Offit, an infectious disease and vaccine expert at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, he's also a member of the FDA Advisory Committee, has been critical of this updated booster. He says that a healthy young person really is unlikely to even benefit from a booster dose. It should be targeted more specifically to those who really are most likely to benefit. And I wonder if you agree with that assessment and whether just even saying that adds to what's been, as you know, an ongoing criticism of CDC messaging that COVID vaccines, COVID itself, the messaging has been confusing. So first, deep respect to Dr. Offit. Um, here's what I will say about our updated um, vaccine. We are simplifying our message. The message is um, you need to get your fall booster vaccine. Um, so go ahead and get it. Um, if, you're, if you're over the age of 12, if you've received your primary series, if you're more than tw two months out of your last shot, you can get an updated vaccine. And so we've intentionally simplified the message so it's very, very clear. It's also very clear that those who are over the age of 50, even over the age of 60 or 70, are more at risk for severe disease, hospitalization, and death. And it is especially important that people in that demographic and others who are at high risk of severe disease get that updated vaccine. It's being branded as an annual booster shot, but is there evidence, doctor, that the shot will provide protection that lasts a full year, especially with mRNA vaccines, where we've seen a loss of protection after, what, just three or four months? Well, what we have seen is that these boosters tend to have protection for up to three, four, five, six months, um, and even longer against severe disease, um, hospitalization, and death. So as we're rolling out these, this new um, updated vaccine, we will continue to follow the data on vaccine effectiveness against infections, against severe disease, hospitalization, and death. What I will say is that um, we do know that the fall season, the winter season, tends to be one in which respiratory viruses thrive, which is why right now is the time that we're, we're rolling out these vaccines and we're really encouraging people to get them. Are you also saying that people who have gotten lax or just decided they no longer need masks maybe want to reconsider for the winter months? Well, certainly uh, since February, we've been updating our COVID-19 community levels. Those levels look not just at how much infection is out there, but how much severe disease, hospitalization, our hospital capacity. We still have about 19 percent of the population that are living in counties with high COVID-19 community levels, counties in orange. And we do encourage uh, policies for masking in those counties. And if those policies don't exist, we encourage individuals to go ahead and put their mask on. And I don't need to tell you that it's one thing to get these new boosters out there. It's another thing to get people to actually put them in their arms. And right now, the latest numbers I saw was 67.5% uh, of the population have two shots, and even fewer, less than 50%, have one booster. Why do you think the response has not been better? And does your agency need a new game plan to get more people to get shots in the arms? 
Yeah, so we're doing a lot of that hard work right now. That work is allowing uh, trusted messengers to us, um, continue to send our message. Here's what we do know. The data have shown time and time again. Um, data from earlier this summer have demonstrated if you've received your vaccines, you're 14 times less likely to die of COVID-19. If you receive that second shot, you are four times less likely to die of COVID-19 compared to one that just received a single booster. So our data have been really crystal clear about the importance of getting vaccinations. And um, we will continue to that, send that message. We will continue to put vaccine in places that people can access it. Right now, vaccines are rolling out across this country. We'll have 10 million vaccines in over 15,000 pharmacies across this country by the end of the week. 90% of the population will, be, will live within five miles of access to a vaccine. Um, and so we are continuing that message. And as you say, this is going to be um, not just us at CDC, not just our public health partners, physicians, community-based organizations continuing to send that message with us. In addition to COVID, I want to ask you about the flu, because the flu season this year is projected to be brutal. And the American Academy of Pediatrics urged parents just yesterday that kids may need more than one flu shot. I wonder if you agree with that assessment. What is your advice to parents of kids who are nine and younger? Um, so certainly there's no way to know how bad a flu season's going to be, um, but we are um, hearing potential for it to be a severe season and we would encourage vaccines. So if you're over the age of 65, you wanna go ahead and get your high dose vaccine. We have flu vaccines for those over the age of six months old. We are encouraging people to go ahead and get their flu vaccine. And importantly, what I will say is that you can get your flu vaccine and your COVID uh, vaccine at the same time. We have nearly half a million people from studies last year that have demonstrated that if you get them at the same time, you sacrifice nothing in terms of either safety or effectiveness. Dr. Rochelle Walensky, thank you so much. Appreciate your time today.